Good evening, this is the Oscar Expert here at the Cannes Film Festival, and it's time to review Layla's Brothers. This is directed by Saeed Rustai. The film follows Layla, a woman who lives with and takes care of her aging parents, who comes up with a plan to financially liberate her four mostly incompetent brothers. That plot description is like a very bare understanding of this movie. Layla is not really the only protagonist here. It's more of an ensemble film and there's a lot of different plot threads going on. This is a nearly three hour film and it is one of my favorites in the Cannes competition this year. It's extremely well acted and well written. It's a sprawling tale of economic hardship that touches on so many different angles of this family's struggle. The moral complexities of dealing with familial wealth, how this family is impacted by low wages and sanctions. A whole lot of this film is the family bickering and arguing and debating about what the right thing to do is. And these arguments let us explore every angle of each situation. And they're endlessly watchable thanks to excellent performances from this whole ensemble. I really like that this family argues like a family and each of the brothers had a very distinct personality. Maybe with the exception of one brother who I don't think was fully fleshed out, everybody felt really important to the story. Some of the family members hold a lot of resentment towards each other, but at the end of the day, there's unmistakably love there, which comes through gently in the story when needed. These characters have a really complicated relationship with their father, played by Saeed Porsamimi, who I would say is one of the supporting standouts that I've seen at this festival. One moment you may resent him for his selfish motives, and the next you might even feel heartbreak for him as he strives to gain what he feels is long-earned respect within his family, trying to find that personal shining moment that he feels that his life is lacking. Lacking. Really, every member of this family, in a way, feels like they're overdue for the life that they should be living. And money is often the way for those dreams to come to fruition. And as the film goes on, hope for those dreams feels even more dangerous. Even your personal finances are at the whim of global politics and sanctions, so how can you ever really feel secure? Tarana Aladusti, best known for her roles in some of Ferrati's films like About Ellie and the Salesman, is excellent as Layla, carrying decades of frustration towards her family with her in each scene. And what's certainly not lost on this character is how being treated as a woman in the world and in this family has heightened that resentment. Navid Mohammed Zadeh is equally great and shares a very similar amount of screen time. I guess you could say he's the most sensible of the four brothers and the only one who's really able to go head to head with Layla. The two share a couple more tender and quiet moments together, which really bring out, I think, the heart of this film. And it's certainly not an overly sentimental movie, but it's about family at the end of the day. And I think one of the overarching unspoken tragedies in this movie is how often this family has to argue about money. And this is not saying like, oh, the money doesn't matter and they're forgetting the essence of family. Like, no. The problem is how much the money does matter. This reminded me of like a good Ferrati movie in that it becomes more tangled and messy as we go along. And I realize that I'm comparing this movie to like the only other Iranian director that people know, but it did kind of remind me of his movies. And I think if you like Ferrati's movies, I would give this a shot. Some of the first act starts out a little bit slowly, but I definitely sunk into the movie and became really involved in it. I found it to be sometimes riveting, thought-provoking, just a powerful and surprisingly wide-reaching portrait of economic struggles and familial struggles. This is one of my favorites of the fest, and I give it a 9 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Which one of Layla's brothers are you?